The environment encompasses all that surrounds us. So the natural resources that surrounds us on this planet is our environment. It keeps life on the earth going and supplies a wealth of resources. As a result, environmental protection is in our best interest. It is very essential for our environment to stay clean and life sustaining. Unfortunately, this is not the case. The environment we live in is being damaged by our own deeds. There is an urgent need to take proactive measures for environmental protection and involve the younger generation in it. In this video, we'll talk about how to improve the environment and how people can help. We are going to apply the three R's for the reduce, reuse, and recycle. The principle of reducing waste, reusing and recycling resources and products is often called the three R's. The three R's are the basis for reducing waste and process optimization. A lot of waste that pollutes the environment consists of dump household materials that are no longer in use like mineral water bottles and other plastic items. These waste materials reach the soil and water and could stay there for years, polluting them and reducing their quality. If we just take a simple step of recycling the waste instead of throwing it into the environment, we would be doing a great job of saving the environment. Let's stop and avoid littering. Littering consists of waste products that have been discarded incorrectly without consent at an unsuitable location. How many of you have noticed plastic bags, bottles, food packages, etc. littered around at places like beaches, monuments, along the roads, marketplaces, and even in our own house? The littering is the most damaging to the environment for it simply rots and pollutes it. The best we can do to save the environment is to not litter. Make it a habit to dispose of the waste properly in a dustbin. If you don't see one around you, then wait until you see one. Conserving water and electricity. Reducing our water usages reduces the energy required to process and deliver it to homes, businesses, farms, and communities which in turn helps to reduce pollution and conserve fuel resources. Conserving electricity helps prevent greenhouse emissions. Greenhouse gases are the leading causes of global warming and climate change. These gases are responsible for absorbing the infrared radiation that would lead to holding and trapping the heat in the atmosphere. Conserving water and electricity saves energy. Energy is needed to filter heat and pump water to your home so reducing your water also reduces your carbon footprint. Saving plants and trees Plants and trees are the lungs of the planet, therefore very essential members of the environment. They act as filters too and keep the air quality index of a place high. They consume carbon dioxide and emit life essential oxygen. No need to mention the millions of life forms that the plants and trees sustain. The more plants and trees we save, we would be doing a great deal towards improving environmental health. Lastly, we need to educate and inspire. We should educate and make others aware of the environment and how can it be preserved. Special stress should be given on teaching the youngsters and the children. When young children are taught about the value of the environment, they will acknowledge its significance when they grow up. In this way, we are inspiring them and make them move for the better future. The protection of the environment is in the hands of us humans. Only humans can take initiative and save the environment, thereby saving lives on the planet.